These are ancient sea corals, yes, fossilized corals, and they may have just rewritten what we know about future sea level rise. And no, this isn't some climate change doomsday rant, this is real science from the Indian Ocean. On the Seychelles Islands, researchers dug up fossilized corals that only grow in shallow water, right near the ocean's surface. That makes them natural sea level markers, they're great paleoproxy climate indicators. And what they found was rather chilling. These corals date back to around 122 to 123,000 years ago during a time called the last interglacial because it was between glaciation periods and sea levels and temperatures were pretty all over the place. But in this particular case, global temperatures back then were pretty much like today, but the sea level was marginally higher by several meters. But here's the twist. Even though sea levels were changing, they didn't rise gradually. They actually spiked in three abrupt pulses and they were punctuated by drops. So we had rises and drops, rises and drops, three distinct times. And it was most likely tied to massive changes in ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica thousands of miles away. This means that those ice sheets didn't just melt slowly, they collapsed rapidly. And that tells us else something big. See, these ice giants are capable of flipping climate switches fast. And now, unlike the past, both hemispheres are warming up together. If back then sea levels rose several meters with the asynchronous polar warming, imagine what would happen now with both poles heating at once. What's also concerning is one of those sharp spikes in sea level coincided with the collapse of the last major ice sheets in North America, an ice sheet we thought was already gone by then. Which means that if it wasn't responsible for all of the meltwater, Antarctica probably played a bigger role than we ever thought. Yeah, we thought Antarctica was a bit more stable because it's a massive continent, but it turns out it may not be. The continent might be way more sensitive to warming than we previously thought, like up to 10 meters of global sea level rise kind of sensitive. Now, that doesn't mean all the cities are gonna disappear tomorrow that live on the coast, but it means our current projections may be too optimistic. See, coastal planners, policymakers, and basically anyone living near the ocean, this is your wake up call. But the good news, and there's always some good news, is we do have the tools to avoid the worst case future. The faster we cut emissions, the better shot we have at keeping the sea where it belongs. See, the past is warning us, the present is a turning point, and the future, well, it's still left unwritten. So let's see what we can do to try and curb that sea level rise. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.